Hey, this is YBR back with Jalopy, and we are going to work on getting those upgrades back. Because I have $400 to blow. That should get us a good amount of upgrades to get this car back to where it used to be, where it was the almost fully upgraded awesome car, instead of the very basic car with a good engine and a roof rack. Good morning! So shall we give our journey another try today? That's the same thing you say when we are at home and leaving. Thought you were going to say something unique for a second. Nah, you just tricking me. Yes, the keys are in the sun visor. I know, uncle. That's where I put them. All right, and we won't select a route quite yet because first we got to upgrade this car and... Wait a minute. This town is not in the shape I remember it. Like, this is not the way I remember things being laid out. I don't know if, may if I'm just remembering it wrong or maybe every time you load it up, it changes the shape of the town just to mess with you because... This don't feel right. It just simply does not feel like the place I used to be. I don't know. It's weird. I'm right, going to take a stop here. Car off. Give me my wallet, uncle. I'm about to blow this money so hard. We're going to be broke. And then we got to go pick up more stuff off the floor and sell it and be like homeless people who live in their car or something. I don't know. All right. Well, give me, well, give me, let, me, let me see what you got. So we have the engine upgrade, if I remember correctly. And that was it. That was the only upgrade there was. Fuel tank will take pretty much all of our money, so we'll try to hold off on that one. Carburetor is relatively cheap, but I have 439. Let's see, what can, how can we maximize that money, you know? So we can get a carburetor and an air filter for a total of $340, and that gives us just under 100 to grab a new ignition coil, and maybe mud guards if I don't have them. That sounds like a good setup to uh, start things off with. So for this, we're gonna get the one I like the color of the most, and I like that red one. Because as far as I know, there's no benefit to not mixing and matching parts like this. See, on this one, I again, I do like the red. You know, did the engine look really good on that one? Now, the red engine don't look good. See, I made the right choice there. Like, we're just styling my engine bay here. I like the red on that. It's like red accents, not red blocks. See, there's a difference. I could also grab a battery as well. Might as well, I guess, yeah, I have the money. Why not? Although, it's not superior to the one I have. I guess I shouldn't, actually, because of that. So, we'll do that. And then we have $389 of order. And we're going to need $330 to be able to get the new fuel tank. And then, we'll have a fully upgraded car again. Well, actually, it was never fully upgraded. It was almost fully upgraded. All right, looks good to me. All right, let's get out of here and go upgrade this thing. It's going to be such a beast of a car. See, eventually, they're going to have, like, engines here, I bet. You can, like, just look at. Maybe, like, it's these are the ones on sale. Like, I'm just guessing totally, by the way. Don't, like, take this. As, oh, the developers said they would do this. No, YBR said it would be cool if they did, basically. You know, I should have probably made sure I remembered right that it was just the engine that was upgraded. So, let's see. Stock air filter, good, don't need that one. Stock carburetor, don't need that. And stock ignition coil, all of those, those are old and gone. I can't even fit the ignition coil, huh? Fine, we'll put it on the roof. Think an ignition coil. All right, so then first, boom, beautiful. And the next, mud guards, uh, we'll do that one. All right, how do you do these again? You just Okay, so I didn't have mud guards before. It, I, it changed color. It wasn't black. Then it was a black spot. So I was like, okay, we just have those now. So go ahead and put on the beautiful air filter. And then last thing, it looks like a snorkel, doesn't it? Not, not like a car snorkel, just a normal snorkel when you put it on the ground. <laughs> Apparently it spins. What? What's going on here? Anyways, let's go ahead and put that on right there. So we got... Perfect engine setup now. How's the engine itself? Perfect durability. How are the tires holding up? Oh, that's not so good. We're going to be having to replace those tires soon. Oh. How much fuel do we have? Doesn't it? I know. it's. It, I could have just turned the car in and looked at the gauge, huh? That was dumb. I just thought about it. Let's see here. It's 8 out of 10 liters, so we should be fine on that. And if I remember correctly, the fuel in there already has the correct... Uh, oil mixture. I don't think I need to add oil or anything. And I made a huge mistake by making it where I can't see behind me. So I just have to guess when I'm backing up. 
Oh wait, that's the way I want to go. Oh, whoops. Uncle, why didn't you tell me to go left? All right, so there is the CSFR border crossing. Whoa, that was weird. So we're going here slowly. Papers, please. And that's the game I always wanted to play, but I never had the chance to. I'm kind of sad about that. Give me the passport, uncle. We need to give this man our passport. Okay, let's see here. Everything seems in order. One more thing. You must declare your route. All right, let's go ahead and do that real quickly. Where are we going, uncle? Oh, well, that's obvious. How are we getting there is the question. So everything's going to have rain, but we might as well take the one that also gets us a gas station as well. And I probably should have unloaded the parts I threw in my trunk in the town. I don't think it'll make a difference, but I probably should have just in case. Like, I find tons of stuff and somehow fill up my car, then I'm going to regret what I did. So we have tires that are balding plus the rain. This is going to be fun times ahead of us. We'll try to keep it a little bit slower. Now, one thing also I wouldn't mind in this game is like a cruise control. Because with the uh, keyboard controls, you can't really maintain a speed without being dumb looking like this. We accelerate, let go, accelerate, let go, accelerate, let go. So you're like popping up and down. and Oh, these tires. They're uh, sketchy when they're dry, but I think the water's actually making them better. Ah, ah, thank you, water. Like the dry tunnels, very, very bad looking. Wet? No problem. They actually feel great in the wet. It's not just no problem. This feels perfect. See, it's not often you guys get to see this environment. 90% of the time I'm doing that first environment only. So it's good to get a different one. Oh, I thought I could clear the puddle that way. That doesn't work, does it? Now you have to actually make your tires miss the puddle. And since there's no other traffic, hey, we'll go on the wrong side of the road. I don't care. I don't want to get one of those puddles that make my car dirty. This car, though, it's just screeching the whole way in the mud. It's like, that's not good. Eventually, I'm going to really lose control and everything's going to go terribly. As it stands right now, though, still have enough control. And hopefully, we find a gas station before we run out of gas. I know sometimes it seems like the gas just goes out ridiculously fast. I'm afraid that might happen. We'll have to see what happens. I mean, 8 out of 10 gallons should be enough, as far as I know. I see no reason why that won't be enough fuel. Unless, like, the gas station's at the very, very end of things, then maybe it might not. Oh, the engine's smoking! I was doing such a good job of not crashing. Well, I say that and then I crash. Okay, I've officially... I think the tires have went from 1 out of 3 to 0 out of 3 now, because the car just started to feel... Extra slippery right there. Like, it was just non-stop sliding. I don't know. Maybe it was just downhill section, too. Or maybe it's when you hit the puddles. It makes the car handle a little bit worse temporarily. All right, let's go check out over here. I really have no idea what this is, but Uncle says, oof. That means it's something interesting. Looks like it's going to be just an empty building, but go ahead and take a peek and make sure. It's always interesting to see things, though, like, what will this be in the future? Oh, maybe it'll just be like a, a little place to pick up boxes. I don't know. Either way, though, we got a box and... Just this cloud of smoke behind us. Ah, ah. So we'll set that there and... Still don't have a crowbar at the moment, unfortunately, so we can't open it up yet. Hopefully the store that we go to ends up having it. Go ahead and turn the engine back on. And away we will go. Stop oofing! This is the proper direction to go because I don't trust the car to try to make a U-turn and for how slippery it is right now. Look at that cursor right there. Try to wipe it off your screen because you think it's dirt! Every time, I guarantee you every time somebody watches one of these, or every time I upload these video, one of these videos, somebody out there is going to watch it and try to wipe the cursor off their screen because it's just such a small little cursor. That you might, you just so think, oh, wait a minute, that's a dirt spot. And you try to wipe it away. It's like, that's not a dirt spot. That's the cursor for the game. Also, you know what? I don't know exactly where to look for boxes on this area. Like, I have a general idea of things, but I don't know. Like, I'm seeing right here, like, when you see a train, they could have boxes by the trains. Like, here, 
the box locations are much more interesting, it seems like. It's not just side of the road, it's stuff like walk in front of a train and pick up the box before you get ran over by the train and die. It'd be kind of funny though if you could get ran over by the train. Whoops! I didn't turn my car off. That's actually a pretty nice looking You know what? Hold up. I want to take a look at that train. That's a nice looking train. Alright, people out there who know trains. Is this like based on a real train in any significant way that you can tell? Or does it just look like a generic train model? Because I, unfortunately, am not an expert in trains or anything like that. That's a nice looking train. Just gotta point that out. Alright, sorry uncle. I had to admire that beautiful train. Oof, going over the train tracks. Wait, where do the train tracks go? Kinda curious about this. Is there more stuff over here, possibly? Oh, goodness. I should not have driven the car on this, I don't think. Ooh, there are some more boxes over here. Awesome! And I might not have the space for all these boxes now. Because I was running low on space as it was. Let's see if we could just shove them on the roof somehow. Nope! Alright, we'll have to get rid of the stock carburetor and the stock air filter and just, uh... You know, whoever comes through here, they can get those parts. Because, uh, I can't hold them no more. Who would have thunk I would have found so much good stuff? Like, I don't usually find this many boxes. I don't know if it's luck or maybe just this area happens to have more locations for boxes to spawn or what. I haven't even found the gas station yet, though, and we already got this much. That is impressive. Or maybe it's because I'm going slow and I actually see the boxes now where usually I'm like, 120 kilometers per hour, max speed, and I just fly by the boxes without even noticing. There have been a few I've missed, I've noticed afterwards, and people have commented, but it seems like I get most of them. That's what's important, is I get most of them. If I miss one here and there, no big deal. If I miss most of them, then that, yeah, that's a big deal. I've read this before, Uncle. At least as far as I remember. So I'm not reading it, just because I assume I have. It's a bad habit to get into, because then you'll miss the interesting things. I really don't like how the button to talk is the same one you used to stop though. Like if I see a train and I want to stop, he may be talking, he gonna mess me up. I said right here we'll just do it on foot. So anything over there? No boxes there. Alright, let's go check the other side. I'm still surprised we haven't found a gas station. I mean we just keep driving and driving and driving and driving. There's the moon. Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? That's what it's like to record a UFO on camera. Like, you have it vi barely visible. You can see it. You actually get the camera centered and it's gone. UFOs, man. They're spooky. And I have seen a UFO before. And I mean that in the most literal sense of the word. It was a strange thing flying and I have no idea what it was. It, um, I'll get a little bit of information on it. It was at night, as about, like, 11 p.m., if I remember correctly. It was, it was later in the night, but not quite the next day is all I remember for sure. And it was basically an orange glowing ring that had, like, a uh, cylinder-ish shape going through it. Or egg-like shape going through it. It's kind of the better way to describe it. And I won't forget that because it was really weird. No idea what it was. Didn't make a sound or anything that I could hear. It just kind of floated around and slowly floated away. Weirdest thing ever. Not saying it's aliens or something. Not saying it's a secret government craft. I'm not saying what it is because I genuinely have no clue. It was unidentified flying object. I could not identify it. Oh my goodness, this car is just squealing so hard. Thinks it's a pig or something. Watch out, there's a train! Okay, Uncle. Gotta go check for stuff again. Did I go in a circle? No. Holy boxes! There's four boxes here! This is ridiculous! There is so much stuff! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh my goodness, how am I gonna even fit all this? There is just, oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of that because uh, yeah, that thing probably doesn't have nearly the value these boxes do. I have no idea how I'm gonna fit this one. I'm out of space as far as I know. Uncle, we need to carry this box on our lap because it has valuables. Well, ha, ah, it stayed on the car. All right, let's go over here and see if there's any boxes over here. Hoping for more. Like, I am getting greedy. I have a car full of boxes and I'm like, I want more. More, more, more. Oh, weird, I don't see the train over here. Are we gonna hit an invisible wall at the, the uh, bridge or can we keep walking? Kinda curious here. Oh, we could keep going. Now, where does this possibly take us? We're gonna find out. I should have maybe took my car here because this is a little bit longer of a walk than I expected. I mean, I'm just thinking maybe there'll be something. You don't, yeah, you never know. Like there could be a huge payoff for walking this far, or it could be absolutely nothing and a huge waste of time. But. Watching this is pretty boring, unfortunately. Tell you what, you can watch it all the way to going to wherever it goes, and then on the way back, I'll just edit that out. Because this is new stuff, so it could be interesting, but then once it becomes the same thing, then it's boring. Although there is a road over here. No idea where that road will go. I kind of don't want to try a different road at the moment, though, because my car is so low on fuel. If I go over on that road and it becomes a dead end or something, I am screwed. So, no boxes here or anything, but there is the end of the train track. So, let's go ahead and just make our way back there really fast. Boom! Isn't fast travel great? Somehow the box fell, though. It was stuck on the car when I left. Uncle, did you do that? I wouldn't put it past him. He would do pranks like that to me. He seems like that kind of dude. Alright, so let's keep on going. See if we can find a gas station or his town or something soon. Whoa! Okay! This I have never seen before. This is new to me. So I guess we do have to drive straight down the train tracks. That is never something that's advisable to do as far as I know. But that's what we're going to have to do. And oh my goodness, I made a smoke screen. I literally cannot see where I'm going. We have to drive over here to be able to see. And the tires! Oh my goodness, the tires! Oh, they are not liking this. Okay, the tires are happy now. So down the train, whoa, tracks, oof, ow, so bumpy! Watch, the train's gonna start driving, right, and it's gonna crush us and it says, Game over, you and uncle got crushed by a train, why were you driving down the train tracks? But the bridge was out! I didn't know where else to go! So it's funny, that whole time I walked it, I should have just drove it. Oh! You know, driving on the train tracks is not pleasant. The car is just super jittery and bouncing and stuff. And I think it's damaging it as well. Because Uncle's oofing so hard. Did they ever say his name? If not, he is Uncle Oof as far as I'm concerned. As far as I remember, they never actually said his name is Uncle blah blah blah. His name is Uncle Oof. And whenever he's saying oof, he's just saying his name. He's like a Pokemon. It's like oof, oof, because he's Uncle Oof. Oh man, this car is dying on me. Oh, is that what I think it is? Thank you. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. How much, gas How much money does a gas station have? Because this is a robbery. I'm going to take all your money, basically, and drifting into like the gas station right there. Nonsense. All right, this car though, they can't take this no more. It really just can't. Yes, I know your uncle Oof. All right, oh no. Engine is at zero out of three. Everything is breaking, but we're gonna fuel it up. Shush, uncle. I need to fuel this car up. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. And then we're gonna grab all of these boxes and try to sell them off. Hopefully they have a crowbar for the one in my hand. Ah, uh, wait, no, these places don't usually have crowbars, do they? 
Hey, you look a little lost. Yeah, I know. All right, let's see here. I'll put the boxes all on the floor for now. And let's just check what they have real quickly. So they got repair kits. Great. They don't have any tires, unfortunately. They do have oil, though. So we can get a functional car. It'll just slide all over the place. All right, what are these? Oh, not too valuable, but every dollar counts. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to pull the lever. I don't like it when the lever's next to the cash register. I know I'm going to just go and click the lever when I'm trying to sell things. I'm just going to make an explosion of stuff. Really? That's how you're going to stack these? The absolute lunatic over here. Oh, no. You see, you suck at stacking. It's just funny watching them like, I'm going to stack this up. I'm playing Jenga over here while you're trying to sell me stuff. Okay, three more and then one box down. They're just going to have cardboard box floors when I'm done with them. There's going to be so much cardboard on these floors, man. All right, what's this one got? A little bit more valuable. All right, two bucks. Not bad. So we got a lot of boxes here, but I haven't had any of those high ticket items like the other boxes were getting me. So maybe that's the trade-off. You can get a lot of stuff here, but none of it's as, or the, the rare stuff is, or the valuable stuff is more rare. Couldn't say that right. And three more die worst. Next box. Actually, I should bring the other box back with me since there's no way to open it at the moment. Guten Morgen. And just set that, uh, I'm gonna put it on the roof for now, I guess. So cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. And the rest have to need, or need a crowbar. All right, come on, high value items. Let's go, one, two, three. Rip it open, what we got? Come on, high value, high value, empty box. Literally an empty box. High value, there's some values. Well, okay, not that valuable. It's a little bit though. Man, I thought I was gonna be rolling in the dough with all these boxes. You got a little bit of money, just a little bit. I guess 100 ain't bad, but I have to buy some repair kits. This is going to uh, screw me up some. Yeah, I don't know how many I'll need. I guess we'll start with one, and then if we need more, we'll come and get it. I, I, well, actually, I'm going to definitely need two, won't I? Stop oofing. I'm trying to open your door, Uncle. Give me my wallet. You my wallet. You can't have my money. That's my money. It's my money, Uncle. I right, so we'll grab two repair kits to start things off. So in the end, I'm still making money. That's what matters to me. Grab those kits and let's go go ahead and get this car fixed up. And people didn't like the fact that I called it a jal jalopy. They thought I literally thought the car's name was jalopy. I just like calling it jalopy because that's the name of the game. Oh man, I need all their repair kits. I mean, I, I don't think the fuel tank is that important. Wait a minute. Durability is three out of one. How do we do that? It's like super durable. And I guess I might need oil too. So much stuff is needed. If only they had tires. I'd love that. The stuff, the way it just slides down so effortlessly. They must oil up that thing. So, stop oofing. Alright, oil mixture should be good. Repair everything that can be repaired. See, how can I repair that? And I don't know. Like, now it's at one out of three. Okay. I, I don't know what I was doing there, to be honest with you. I was just hitting repair on everything and... I had the ones that were like the high number. Now it's just one out of one again. Weird. Who closes their hood like that? Honestly. Nobody does that. Alright, well. We got the ability to accelerate. That's all you need to get to your destination. The steering, that's just for safety. Drift mode! You know what? They should have tires where you can buy them. They're drift tires. 
And they are just basically the tires that are like this, but they never get worse. Like, no matter what, they're just going to always slide, but they don't slide really bad. That'd be a perfect trade-off. Or maybe they last forever almost, but they grip really poorly. I don't know, something like that. Squealing! It looks like there's some sort of giant tower or something, doesn't it? It's weird looking. I mean, it's just the shadow of, it's like the black night sky. But from afar, it looked like a tower or something. And I don't know why, the more I play the game, the worse the frame rate gets. It's a weird bug about it. Cause like right now, oh my goodness, is this thing lagging? Motel, motel. Don't see one, just keep driving. Alright, Drifter, you ready to go around this corner good? Wait, that's not a corner, is it? No, yeah, it is. Drift it! Yeah! Yes! 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 That is actually like a legit drift right there. That is so dumb that I tried to do that, but it worked out great. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. That's not great. You know, too frequently, these videos end with me flipping over the car. <laughs> well, that will do it then. Right in front of the motel. Can we just stay a night at the motel and my car will flip over upright maybe? Like, I could totally see that as working. We'll try it. Uncle! I can't even grab my wallet. I gotta go into the car that's upside down to grab my wallet. Let me get in here real quick. Like, just imagine trying to sit yourself into that. Now, whoop! I'm gonna go to the hotel, Uncle. Goodbye. He's just gonna stay there. He's happy staying there, though. Ding, ding. Give me a room. Oh, the frame rate's killing me. 2C. Okay. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. You'll be in the room if I need you. No, -uh, I'm going to be in the room if you need me, uncle. You got this all mixed up. Boom. There we go. We made it somehow, even with a flipped over car. So anyways, that will officially do it. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya. By the way, again, just to make sure I remember to quit right, I'm going to keep it in the video because I want to make sure, like, I have proof if it doesn't save my upgrades, it's not my fault.